Um, yeah. Yeah, I understand being pissed at the network, of course. Yeah, I would be too. I mean, uh, especially if they gave like me that bullshit. But the reality is, I don't know. Well, like, I would love to know Neil's point of view on it. Because Neil probably was had a very similar deal. And I would love to know. Uh, and yeah, I'm not gonna, Neil's not going to tell me. But I mean, is he getting fucked? It, you know, it, it matters. It matters what you sign. And it matters that uh, if you were bullshitted by the people closest to you, if they gave you really bad advice. Because that happens, too, where agents give you just terrible advice. Did the network do nothing wrong? Maybe the network presented the deal and the agents were greedy. Maybe the network said, this is the deal, and the agent said, fuck, that's a good piece. Again, I think the point is an industry-wide point, not just like this. It's not a specific case point. It's this is how the industry works. Like, for instance, Neil's not going to tell you because Neil Brennan, and he's not going to go out publicly and say this stuff. Because Neil Brennan's not Dave Chappelle and doesn't have that kind of power. Like, you have to be Dave Chappelle, Kanye West, Michael Jackson, or... Even when Michael did it, they were like, look at this fucking crazy lunatic Michael Jackson over here. They do it to Kanye. Look at this crazy. They did it to Dave. I mean, they 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 said that Dave was a lunatic. They went on a campaign trying to trying to convince the world that Dave was crazy. And maybe he was crazy. I don't know. Who did? Everywhere you looked when Dave walked off Chappelle's show, every news article, everywhere, there was a full on press campaign telling the world that Dave was crazy. You know, Dave's crazy. I, he's gone nuts. He's in South Africa. He's crazy. I don't know. I think he did go to South Africa, but I mean, I, I don't know why. Um, I, and again, I've never really figured out why. Or her, I mean, she's probably explained it. He told the story on a uh, uh, that Letterman show um, that just came out on Netflix. Okay, uh, the Netflix show. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Well, he says that you know one of the things was they were filming something, and, and he, he saw white guys laughing. He wouldn't get into exactly what it was, but yeah, he felt like, you know, they're laughing at me and this isn't fun anymore. He said he laughed. He said the way he laughed opened his eyes. Okay. Uh, and again, I don't know who the guy was or what the, the sketch was at all. Can you so imagine that be- knowing that you're that guy? And like Fuck. hear this, I ruined oh, Chappelle's shit. show. <laughs> I ruined but the I, greatest comedy show of a generation. But I can't from imagine laughing wrong. Dave wanting to take something out or going, I want the tone to be different. Didn't they beg him to come back and say, we'll change anything you want to change? Oh, yeah. If, they wanted him back. I mean, they brought so, in Ashley Larry and... Uh, and uh, Oh, Donnell, yeah, yeah. And Charlie Murphy to uh, to host the remaining skits that they still had in the can just so they could have something for the season three. episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I remember when that happened, and the, I don't know who it was that was laughing or, or what this, if it was a slavery sketch or what this sketch was. I've heard speculation that Farrakhan talked to him, and maybe he felt like he wasn't. Again, I, I don't want to speak for Dave. I just don't know. But things are not always, you know, as uh, as obvious as they look. I, I just, I would love to know why he left. I never really, I don't know exactly why he left. If it was just because somebody laughed inappropriately. I mean, people respect the fuck out of Dave. He's one of the most respected comics, and he was back then too. So I don't, th- I don't know if anybody. Was yeah, but that may have just him. been the the tipping point. That I may have just yeah, been yeah, what he maybe, needed sure. to get over that hump, you know. Yeah. Possibly, sometimes, yeah, sometimes when people are done, people are done, you know. Okay, and but, let's be honest. I mean, there was a tremendous amount of pressure with that show. Yeah. Like that show got bigger than anyone could have possibly imagined it would get. So when you, I mean, the pressure that comes with with writing that show that had those expectations like Chappelle show became comedy central. So, you know, that's also going to make a person look at things differently, see things differently and, and be a little, you know, stressed Um, out if you will. Yeah. I've never asked him about it. I, I talked to somebody else about it once. Uh, and they gave me a lot of the details of, uh, what, what, uh, I guess kind of occurred around that time, but mm-hmm. uh, I've never actually asked Dave. You know, I don't know him that well. I know him, but not. You know, yeah. I'm not gonna sit there and ask him about his finances.